what's up guys it's Alora. i'm coming at you live and direct from my bathroom it's wash day i'm about to take out these braids i already started cutting them i'm just taking them out revive my hair real quick and show y'all how to get your best wash day in the winter time low porosity hair after a protective style so i just took out my box braids and that's why i'm you know looking like big worm but now i'm just about to pre-poo do you know my four sections like everybody else use this african pride moisture miracle aloe and coconut water detangle and condition pre-shampoo this is my favorite pre-poo take a generous amount of pre-poo i'm gonna start with like this much and then like obviously if i need more i'm gonna get more so so this is my favorite detangling brush and this is just how i use it i can't tell you for sure if it's how you're supposed to or not and the sound it's alarming but it's just the sound you're going to get with this brush whether you have tangles or not um but yeah i just brush with it going vertically initially so vertical vertical and then once it's detangled thoroughly I'm gonna just go ahead and um, turn it horizontally. you know pre-pooed hair we're thoroughly detangled i'm gonna shampoo condition and detangle then i will be back to deep condition because this is only gonna take me like 15 minutes so brb i'm jackie's grapeseed style and shine recipes rescued thirst quenching recovery conditioner and it's not my favorite product from the line but you know don't want to waste my money so so my hair is looking like stiff, right? Because I have low porosity hair. So just washing it in the tub like that, it doesn't open up my cuticles the way it needs to and get as moisturized as it needs to. So that's why I'm steaming after this. And then by the time it's time to style, my curls will be popping, you'll see, okay? So um, right now we're super frizzy, no curl pattern, no definition. I'm using this double detangling comb. I get kind of finer tooth as I go throughout my wash day. Cause you see it's not really tangled now we just want to make sure you know in the roots it's not matted so we're bringing the finer tooth comb up in there my best friend asked me to make this video a while ago so. hi 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 baby hi you can already see the curls are kind of forming now that i'm combing in the proper position and this deep conditioner has been sitting for like five minutes okay and we want to hit it from all angles make sure we're not making the hard work is almost done Okay, so I'm about to just use my Q-Redo hair steamer and just start at the roots, drag it down. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's not tugging my hair. You don't have to like comb through it. I just do because like I said, I detangle throughout the whole process. Get your roots, your ends, the middle, wherever your hair is, you know drier more prone to tangles okay we're done with that section i 
just want y'all to see all the steam is what I'm trying to Get all up in there. I don't want to skip any sections at all. I'm just looking this way so it's not getting in my eyes. What I like about this is it doesn't drip or anything. It's super quick. Okay, so now we have... Do you see the difference already though? From when I first got on camera with the deep conditioner, how it was all white. And now it's absorbing amazing me and my mommy's looking right at you which, okay and i don't put it back in sections as i go or anything deep conditioned and we are steamed and now i'm gonna head to the shower rinse this out put in my leave-ins no come in the room with mommy I'm about to get in the shower and i'll be back to show you guys the end of my styling process okay so i'm at the last part of my um styling process i just have the shower cap on to keep my hair damp while i'm getting dressed i have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of product in my hair because that's just what works for me they work for me they work they work for me they work they work i use shea moisture red palm leave-in conditioner and the curl stretch cream i have both of those in my hair right now put them in the description box when i grab them and then I just use this gel, Aunt Jackie's Grapeseed Style and Shine Recipes again. Ice Curls, Glossy Curling Jelly. It doesn't have a strong hold. It's pretty moisturizing. And honestly, I use so much leave-in that even if it wasn't moisturizing, my hair would still feel moisturized. But um, I just use a generous amount of this. I already have so much product that my hair is pretty much defined. Pretty much looks how I want it to look. So we're going to... Add a little razzle dazzle to it, you know? So don't be afraid to use product because I use as much product as I need here. Right. I'm gonna use a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm using like this much. Um, hands too wet. But yeah, just gonna put it in there. Make sure my roots feel just as smooth as the length of my hair. And if they don't, I'm going to add more products. Simple as that. But I'm going to get another decent amount. Boom. We're heavy-handed with products. Get my roots. God, I'm not about to get up and refill it, so there we go. I have a diffuser and a hooded dryer, but I'm hot. I don't feel like doing all that air dry. But this is the final result. Any type of like white cast or anything like that is gonna dry clear. And of course, I'll show you guys how it looks 100% dry. So. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I'm gonna list all my products in the description box. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. And turn on my post notifications so you don't miss the next video. Again, my name is Alora. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.